Japanese Horror Stories Master Series Malformation I have an occult master, but he also has his own way of thinking about spirits. He often gave a lecture saying, what is a spirit? According to the master, most spiritual bodies are not well aware that they are dead. Some are still at the scene of the accident and still seeking help, while others are honestly trying to repeat their life behaviors. Those guys are scared of what ordinary humans are afraid of. A Yakuza is scary, and a ferocious dog is scary. Also a madman. Some guys are pitifully scared just by yelling. The problem is the one who doesn't get scared by the threat. You shouldn't get involved with someone who understands you're dead. I used to say things like that, but this is a convincing story, and a story I often hear. However, what I learned at one point has never been heard from anyone other than the master, and I have never heard of a similar story. Maybe it's my ignorance, but what do these people think? Around the summer of my sophomore year, I saw strange things in quick succession. At first, I went to a pachinko parlor for the first time, and when I was wandering around the pachinko corner, the strangeness of Austin sitting on a certain table stopped unintentionally. The lower lip is abnormally swollen and drooping. It's almost sticking to my chest. I thought that there were people with such illness, but the next day. When I got on the bus to get out of the city, and sat in the seat in front of the entrance, I was drowsy. I noticed that there are many fingers on the hands of the person sitting in the front seat. No matter how many fingers you put on your armrest, there are six. It's nice to have a thumb on the left edge, but another big finger on the opposite edge. Is it polydactyly? The person went down before me, but no one else seemed to be looking at him. I wondered if he wouldn't notice it, but later he realized his thoughtlessness. And the next day, this time I saw a little man. This is also a pachinko parlor, but when I thought that my child was messing around, I saw his face, and he was middle-aged. He had a peculiar face that I couldn't tell if he was a man or a woman, and he said in a high-pitched voice, I won't come out. It's quite small probably because my legs are bent. Not even my short chest. I didn't see much this time. I kept seeing malformations, which made me wonder why it happened. When I told my teacher about this, I thought I would be happy, and made a difficult face. My mentor likes to scare me, so I was likely to say I'm cursed or something irresponsible. After thinking for a while, the master put his hands in a strange shape, and then opened his mouth. Once you see it, you'll be looking at others for a while. That's also the case. It's a matter of probability. However, there is one strange thing in the previous story. The seat in front of the entrance has a window on the right-hand side. I wondered what he would say, but nodded. Of course, the seat in front of it is the same. Well, is the hand you saw on the armrest the right hand, or the left hand? He shook his head because he didn't understand what it meant. Some buses have an armrest by the window. The armrest is on the aisle side, because it looks good to you, and it makes you wonder that other people don't notice it. That means it's not good if your thumb is on the left side. I was surprised. I had to get on my left hand, but I was on my right hand. You should notice not only that there were six of them, but also there. It is strange that you who were watching Jirajiro did not have the feeling of strangeness that I had just heard. I felt like I was hearing something scary from now on, and I got a cold sweat. In the other two stories, I touched on the appearance of a woman or a man, but it wasn't about the bus. Because I stood up, I should have been watching. I can't remember what I see. You unknowingly hide the vague part and try to think of it as just a deformity. I ask you again, you were the only one who was watching it, right? The teacher raised his hands together. Okay. Put out your dominant hand. You're right. With your palm down. Put your left palm down on your hand. Make sure that everything except the thumb overlaps. Oh yeah. It feels like the middle finger on the left overlaps the ring finger on the right. I think the left one is in forder. The remaining fingers should overlap even if the lengths do not match. Then you have six fingers. I want you to try this. Two thumbs are now symmetrical. What is it like? 
It's a strange feeling. It's calm or reassuring, and it feels more united than when you put your hands together. I especially feel it when I move it up, down, left and right. This is the shape of the palm that humans want in their subconscious. The left and right sides are symmetrical, and the thumbs on both sides grab the object with equal force. I have seen such a ghost with two thumbs several times. Is that the spirit that only I could see? Maybe. Sometimes I'm there. Some spirits wandered as they were in their lifetime. To be more calm, to try to keep yourself unstable. Both hands are dominant arms, or have six fingers symmetrical to the left and right. The person himself is also unknowingly deformed. The mentor said so and hung an iron claw on me, with a pseudo six finger. It was a strange story. I've never heard of such a story. Both hands are dominant arms. I've read a lot of ghost stories, but I've never seen a book that mentions them. Is it a master's bluntness, or is it a reason for a world I don't know? I don't know now.